My Chinese name is Lily, but everybody calls me Louise. In 1958, I was eight years old. One night, I heard my parents whispering in the other room. I heard them say an English word, America. Everyone in Hong Kong had been talking about America. I had heard it was a land where people had opportunity and could escape the communist dictator in China. The next day, my mother told me and my brother that we were leaving Hong Kong to go to America very soon. I was very excited about the trip, though sad also. We loved my grandparents and uncles and aunts and cousins in Hong Kong. We got in a huge steamship and started across the ocean. I soon found I was not a very good sailor. In fact, I was seasick every single day. When we arrived in Hawaii, I wanted to get off the ship and never get back on again. But my father said this was not a destination. We were bound for a wonderful city called Los Angeles. My first few weeks in Los Angeles were exciting. The streets were very wide and had electric streetcars, which we rode to the market to buy food. I went to an elementary school and it was very difficult because I did not speak very much English. But soon I made friends and they helped me learn all the words I needed to know. In our little apartment, there was not very much room, so my father put wooden legs on all of our suitcases, and that became our dresser. I kept my clothes inside, and my books and treasures on top where I could play with them. I was not very good at school. I did not get good grades, and my father would only send my brother to college. But then an exciting thing happened. My father bought me a sewing machine, and I taught myself how to use it, and soon I was very good at it, and I was a talented seamstress. I eventually opened up my own dress store and my father was very proud of me. The most important advice I can give a new immigrant to America is not to be afraid. Work very hard and learn English and get good grades. Go to college and most importantly, graduate. I am 61 years old now and I am very glad we came to America on that awful steamship.